Chinese Australian businessman Chow Chuck Wing has won his defamation case against the ABC and nine newspapers. A Sydney court awarded him almost $600,000 in damages. The judge upheld four of his complaints but rejected two others. The ABC says the outcome shows there are fundamental problems with defamation laws. Quiet giver is how character witnesses described Chow Chuck Wing. He claimed a 2017 Four Corners episode, which raised questions about foreign influence, defamed him and sued the ABC Nine and journalist Nick McKenzie. The Australian citizen claimed the program conveyed that he betrayed Australia to serve China and its Communist Party through espionage, is a member of the Communist Party, paid enormous bribes to Australian political parties to advance their interests, paid a woman he knew to be a corrupt espionage agent to help him infiltrate the Australian government, and paid a $200,000 bribe to the President of the UN General Assembly and was involved in a corrupt scheme. The judge rejected two of those imputations, but said the remainder struck at the heart of Dr Chow's good name for his integrity, philanthropy and constructive contributions to developing a positive relationship between Australia and China. He was awarded $590,000. In a statement, the ABC and Nine said the case demonstrated fundamental problems with Australia's defamation laws. The broadcasters renewed calls for reform to balance the playing field, defend public interest journalism and protect the public's right to know. This is a big deal in that if ABC's Four Corners program can't overcome the, uh, the standards necessary to avoid a defamation judgment, then most of the other journalism in Australia has no hope. Dr Chow's lawyer said he was pleased to have his reputation restored. In Canberra, Liberal MP Tim Wilson used parliamentary privilege to table a case file from the FBI. It shows Dr Chow admitted to making the $200,000 UN payment in 2013, but told the FBI it was a donation to alleviate poverty. The best antidote, Deputy Speaker, against those who seek to influence our political system and, of course, our universities and other important institutions that are the lifeblood of our democracy is sunshine. Let the light in. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.